Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and another vlog. As you can see, I'm just turning Miss Moo Cub out. Uh, Fred is out over there somewhere. Probably can't see him because I can't. Um, firstly, I would like to apologise for how tired I look. Uh, it's because I am. It's been a mental week. Um, so on top of my full-time job, and teaching and obviously my horses and riding both of those um, we've had decorators and new carpets in at home so we spent the entire week like moving furniture around etc which is really exciting but also knackering um, but the carpet looks amazing I love it and last night we went to a core conditioning clinic um, so teaching your horse to use its core um, benefits of that exercises etc and that was fantastic um, but I didn't get home till about half past 11 last night and the alarm went off at 10 to 7 because we're off on an adventure today yay um, so Fred and I are heading over to Beechwood to have an arena cross country lesson with Jonathan um, I picked an early time because we're doing more painting today and tomorrow um, so hopefully the house will be almost finished by after this weekend but of course I had to squeeze in a little bit of training because it's the weekend just let Miss Mui off so you can see that she was in her oh let go in her muzzle because I don't get her in every day um, sometimes the kids do it and she's a little monkey and drags them to the grass so <laughs> this is the safest way and the easiest way of stopping her dragging them around bless her but she's very happy to have her muzzle off on the shorter days that she's out uh, sometimes when she goes out really early she still has it on um, just to keep her weight down make sure she doesn't get lammy or anything horrible like that um, but yeah it's nice for her to have a break from it so maybe like three or four days a week she doesn't actually wear it anymore now the grass has gone a little bit but as you can see the field is still amazing very lucky um, it is the first week of December so it's winter it's been wet but yeah, this, uh, these fields are holding up really, really well. So we're lucky. I am going to go and do as many jobs as I can before I need to head off, obviously load the trailer up, etc., and get on the road. So I will see you at Beechwood. Bye guys. Okie dokie guys, we have arrived at Beechwood. I forgot my coat, so I'm absolutely freezing. Luckily I had my Cavaletti bobble hat in the car. Uh, Mr. Freddles was a little bit lively on the way here because you see him bobbing his head around. I'm hoping it's because he was eating his hay net because otherwise that's a bit scary. Um, but yeah, hopefully he likes it here. So hopefully he'll settle down when I get on. Um, I've got about 15 minutes till my lesson. So he's already got his saddle and boots on. I'm just going to pop his bridle on. Um, then walking around the car park uh, with his little butt warming sheet on for sort of 10 minutes. And then off we go.
skinnier ones we're going to jump is that little log roll there yep. and you're going straight through this gap afterwards yep. I don't think it's difficult to do because if if you can't make this gap then you fucked up that line anyway so whatever line you've come on should be the same line afterwards shouldn't it yeah absolutely so just go around that left hand corner at the top there jump that and back through this gap Doesn't mind brushing, does he? So these bloody things, you want a, a degree in Meccano. <laughs> Jump for joy, make two different size of cups. Oh, one, one size fits these, and one size doesn't. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, that's a good one. You should have that shape to it underneath. There's no point just trying to steer for there a little bit. No. Might as well still jump the middle. Yeah. You know that he's going to move slightly away from that bit and you'll be about right. Yeah. If you try and aim for the little bit, then you end up running out Go of room there. completely. Yeah. yeah. So we'll come around off a right turn here and just jump this shoulder brush. So again, there's a gap afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, they just start swinging about all over the place. Um, so they're really good for a lot of
Yeah, that was me. Step way in that left stirrup, turn your body to. It's quite a tight turn for a big horse. Can we try the left turn back to the hanging brush now? Yeah. It's the same idea. Just step your foot in the stirrup, then come round, yeah? Feel your right rein there now. Sit there right there again. So as soon as the bit comes off the middle of his tongue, you get an overreaction. You've really got to keep it in the middle. Go around there again. Am I best to make that tail tiny bit wider? Make it as wide as you like, there's loads yeah. of room, but you've just got to keep that bit in the middle.
by top riders as well. Yeah. And yet now when you meet some of the other set of politicians, they've decided it's a trip hazard, so they put brush underneath. <laughs> so it would be a really good idea if we jump suspended brushes, but we're going to put stuff underneath it now to fill in the gap. So go straighter, you can do whatever you like as long as you keep So that is our jump lesson complete. I thought that was brilliant, I really enjoyed that. Um, it was really nice to have him come out and just be on the ball. He was pretty chilled, even though it was freezing cold. Uh, warmed up really nicely, jumped all of the practice fences lovely. It's nice that I've learned to just keep still and let it flow and flow and there's none of this like, oh my god, stop, oh my god, start, oh, kick, pull. That's almost totally gone. Um, what it did highlight was that coming round off of my left rein is now weaker than the right, which is funny because up until a couple of weeks ago it was the other way round um, and I really struggled to hold his left shoulder in. Whereas today, um, I struggled to hold his right shoulder in and you would have seen in the footage that we had, not a couple of stops because they, they were me, um, but I should have put my, sorry, I'm so bad of left and right. I should have put my right leg on um, and opened my left hand. But what I did is just pull the left rein. Um, and then he kind of goes, whoa, I don't know what you mean. Cause I'm telling him two different things. Um, and then we have that silly like skipping moment um, but Jonathan said something really helpful, so put your weight in your left stirrup. It just made me move my body around, open my hand and do the turn. Um, that was that very last fence that we jumped. We did have it down, um, but it was quite windy and they were... The, the brush is really solid, um, but the fence is really light. So literally, if you brush for them, they fall down. Very bizarre. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, but yeah, so I've got to really concentrate now on riding every single turn, keeping my hands soft because the second I pull and that bit moves in his mouth, he goes, whoa, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, apart from that, really happy. I was super duper happy with the um, like two little upright log piles on the turn because before that would have been my nemesis, we would have flown out of that shoulder um, and just ran sideways. And the couple of times that we did it, every single time, he just felt bang on. He was brilliant. Jonathan even complimented me, which is really rare. Not really if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, absolutely loved that lesson. Learned quite a lot. Fred was a legend, as usual. He looked very handsome. So yeah, we're, uh, we're going to head home and put Mr. Fred was back in the field. And I'm going to carry on decorating my house. He's a good boy. He did get really hot, but he's uh, having a haircut again on Tuesday. We're back in three weeks this time. So look at your sweaty year olds, poor boy. But no, super pleased, really happy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to leave a comment um, and subscribe to the channel for more fun with Freddles. See you soon guys, bye.